What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Off the Wall. My name is Mike. Uh, my name is Bugs. And today we're here to review and rate the uh, sixth installment in the Jurassic Park slash world franchise. Jurassic World Dominion has been in theaters for uh, a, f- a few days now. Um, and we're, we're, we're going to talk about this movie. Um, uh, before we get into it, uh, Boggs, overall Jurassic Park franchise fan, not a fan? Where, where do you sit with it? I never thought you'd ask, Mike. Jurassic Park World Universe is absolutely one of my favorite franchises of all time. Wow. Is it one of the best? No. But top 10 favorite franchises absolutely love Jurassic Park. Two, three, Jurassic. Obviously, the, the last trilogy is uh, is okay, but the first trilogy I, I definitely prefer massive fan of the first Jurassic Park love two and three uh, like that like as guilty watchers obviously yeah. first one is an absolute classic the others are just like they I can put out their movies I can put on at any time any time of day any occasion having the background loads of fun massive dinosaur kid geek so um just seeing these creatures beings and how creative the CG is even like how the the kills like how uh, just creative they can be with them and um and, you know the horror element that's always you know that was always kind of in the original Jurassic Park and it's kind of uh slowly getting filtered out um you know especially in this one but uh, you know absolute massive fan of the Jurassic Park universe to be honest so yeah I I love it I'm with you I you put and i've said this about a lot of movies you put giant monsters destroying things on screen and i'm i'm sold i'm, I'm on board yeah. um even even the the 90 99 godzilla movie as bad as it is when i get to watch a giant lizard destroying buildings I, i'm in so mm-hmm. yeah jurassic park the first one is is an absolute classic one of one of one of i think the best films made in terms of its ingenuity and what and what they've done um the school cg the, everything about it i mean it's just comedy it's, fantastic it's absolute I, I got to go to a 25th anniversary screening a couple of years ago on watch it on the big screen which i didn't get to do as a kid because mm. my mom wouldn't let me go see it mm-hmm. um and it even in 2018 or whatever it was it still looked flawless it on screen um lost world i like just fine jurassic park 3 is what it is um jurassic world i think is actually pretty darn good at the end of the day um, Fallen Kingdom has me up until about two thirds of the way in, and then it loses me completely because it just gets a little too so. weird. Um, and then, well, we're gonna go, let's go ahead and get into this one. Uh, which, by the way, Soul, if you could, Soul's in the background. Can you throw up the? Uh, just let everybody know right off the bat. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm, yeah, we don't we don't play around here. No. Um, so Jurassic World Dominion is put it bluntly a hot mess um it is it is a hot mess um it felt like and i said this on twitter it felt like two different movies put together like they had two ideas for a story and they couldn't quite get either one where they wanted so they just stuck them together and and hoped they fit um there's a lot of very convenient things that happen in this movie there's a lot of uh just sloppy editing, bad writing, um, a lot of choices that make no sense, uh, character decisions that make no sense. There's just there's a lot wrong with this movie. Uh, Boggs, you, how you feel? Yeah, I mean, same kind of thing. By the way, I think the first Jurassic Park movie is the first movie I watched in theaters that I have a recollection. Really? Of. I might have. I maybe was taken to like a, a one earlier, yeah. Um, but I don't I have any recollection of that. I, I remember being too young to watch Jurassic Park in the theaters. But anyway, yeah, I was like four. Side note. Yeah. <laughs> um, the this movie, yeah, it, it is. It's a rough watch. I mean, multiple times I did like I I absolutely rolled my eyes or I actually laughed out loud sometimes. Not a comedy part, like parts that I shouldn't be laughing at. Like it's 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 like a 
they, they've just turned the franchise into a monster movie slash disaster film as opposed to the unique property of you know dinosaurs horror sci-fi fancy they do bring sci-fi fancy a lot too heavily into this as well with the whole cloning and uh, and the and the uh, and the bugs i forgot the what um the locusts or whatever. yeah the locusts uh, that's it. uh absolutely ridiculous storyline that's not needed at all um but yeah i mean some of the acting is quite bad you know i thought bryce Dallas how was almost cringe in some some of the scenes that you know especially the jason Bourne malta stuff i thought it was horrendously oh, bad um the way right there stuff so like i mean the oh, amount of times chris pratt is literally like this the whole movie trying to control every dinosaur you know and and then when the girl does it and sam neil does it I, I was like oh my god what are you guys doing like i really wish it just bit their hand and yeah. just like and yeah uh, i i actually laughed at, at that moment like like burst out laughing when, when they all three of them did it uh ridiculous and you know he spends half the movie like this like as if he's got the force as if he's like a jedi trying to control it's Leo trying to stop the sentinels in... literally like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it's literally it's, it's so bad and um yeah uh some of the you know the, there's no point of the original uh og characters being in this one yeah it is nice to see them talk sometimes and have conversation with a newer cast and you know i did like jeff goldblum i mean fantastic i genuinely laughed out loud at many of his scenes uh actually like hilariously funny um you know particularly the whole uh, oh not this guy you know the um the engineer guy and it do you have a dinosaur on your back like i burst out laughing uh, i thought it was hilarious you know numerous scenes with him uh, i feel like he was like common Tating on the movie like was in us. a meta way yeah it was and us. it was uh he was hilarious yeah, yeah he's fantastic and in great shape as well for his age um yeah <laughs> the new characters yeah the new characters were absolutely uh, uh awful i'd say as well i mean they, they brought, I, I, i'm sure they're they're the kind of least of the movie's problems but you know some of the yeah that, like i didn't need them and the, the, the two characters I, I forget their names um but the two characters from fallen kingdom um, um that Zia were and um yeah i can get their names um uh, uh, justice, justice smith smith yeah 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 so just smith character yeah uh, they were better in this movie than fallen kingdom i mean um but they they're just in what maybe the first third of the movie and then yeah. they're not seen again uh, a lot of new characters kind of are only in the first half of the movie so uh that lady in the white that was kind of holding the laser sp <laughs> the laser target oh. everywhere absolutely ridiculous and then uh, yeah she's hardly in it anymore um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what they need to get Colin Trevorrow away from this franchise. I mean, what has he taken? Where has he taken this franchise um, from being a horror, amazing, full of wonder movie to just what it is now? It's almost stupid what it is now. However, I will say I do not hate this movie. Like it's bad. I objectively say it's really bad. It's really cringe ridiculous the the dialogue is embarrassing but i do get a little sense of wonder just seeing these dinosaurs you know uh having them you know uh, there are a few jumps uh jump scenes uh horror you know jump scares sorry in this movie they did get me like three or four times i'm not gonna lie um in a few corridors a few alleyways um and but the, the main thing is that, I mean, just the actual aesthetics and the CG of dinosaurs will never get boring to me. Um, and yeah, just, um, but the way that they've almost reduced the fear factor from the dinosaurs, you know, it being a Jurassic world now, and in effect, not really, like they've almost made them tame animals, you know, I think they said there were, there was only like, 37 recorded kills or something in and at the start of the movie yeah, yeah i couldn't believe it yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, dinosaurs roaming around the country and there's only 37 confirmed kills. is that a there joke or... t-rex yeah Move right yeah, yeah exactly no that was completely ridiculous they um yeah and the fact and, and they obviously jumping right to the end and they did that whole lion king like the animals living together with the, I thought, what is this? These dinosaurs would rip them to pieces. Like mm -hmm. um, they were the dominant species for how many millions of years? And they wouldn't peacefully live together on planet Earth with humans or 
any other animal species. So yeah, absolutely ridiculous movie. I'm sure we're going to get into some of the stuff now, but I did have fun with a number of scenes, including Jeff Goldblum. Um, yes, it was nice to see the older characters back um, and a few kind of older dinosaurs that are back as well that were in the earlier movies. Um, you know, some of the score, I, I do like some of the score, you know, tie-ins. I do like the main Jurassic kind of, I'm going to call it Jurassic World score, because it has it has the original Jurassic Park theme and it mixes it in with the new Jurassic World theme, which I do like. Uh, they do kind of use a lot of that, but overall plot is quite frankly stupid mm-hmm. and um, cringe. But there are some fun elements to it. That's my overall <laughs> review, yeah. anyway. Pretty much, it's 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 there. Yeah, it's not the worst in the franchise. I I, I, I think it might be. To be honest. But like I said, I, I I have a soft spot for it. I really okay. like the Jurassic world franchise i think it's my lowest movie though. for for me it's it's i think it's my second lowest i, I think mm. i think i jurassic park 3 ranks a bit low i really don't like jurassic park 3 like i, I would watch jurassic all. park 3 over this uh, I, think, yeah. I uh but that, that, again that's me um i i do think that the stuff with grant and sattler and malcolm was far more interesting I was a bit more on board because I you because I a hundred percent believed that was Dr. Alan Grant, that that was the same Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. That character has aged about as well as Sam Neill, who looked fantastic for his age in this movie. Um, I totally believed Ellie Sattler. I totally believed Jeff Goldblum. There was a couple times that he felt a little too Jeff Goldblum <laughs> for me. Um, particularly when he's trying to figure out the code to get them out of there. And I'm, I'm like, you've got a Jeep full of stuff. Like, you know, we, we saw this a lot in the first two films, get the tow cable and, you know, yank mm. the door open, do something. Don't just sit there and make jokes about how complicated. Guessed it right. are. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he didn't guess it right. The other guy, cause, oh, uh, yeah, well, cause yeah. what's his name? Um, oh God, the actors, uh, uh, Anyway, the, the guy who's been helping him out, mm. uh, Ramsey, yeah, yeah. Ramsey he, got, was, yeah, yeah. he punched it in and just, you know, timing, whatever. It was a funny mm. scene. But um, I I didn't need I didn't need an army of prehistoric locusts taking over the world. I didn't need well, that because yeah. it ultimately like made that. no sense. Like at the end of the day, they exist because Dogson, Dogson, we've got Dogson here in this movie, you know, played by Peter Parker's dad from The Amazing Spider-Man. Mm wants to sell more crops it wants to take over the world food supply or something like i, I how guess far we've got from dinosaurs like but it's it's not even really super here? clear what, what he's trying to do and dr Wu has gone from being the mustache twirling bad guy behind everything to oh i was a victim of circumstance okay and if sure. i can just get your mother's dna like he did say that a number of times. I was like, okay, yeah. you said it literally five times now. Are you going to keep saying and, that? Um, yeah, and it, yeah. And there's there's a, there's there are two moments with Ellie, Ellie Sattler though, where that I almost walked out of the movie. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. So one was where she, it is a line in the script where she says, "Oh, he slid into my DMs." Mm. Okay, yeah, that. Sure, you couldn't have just said, "Oh, he reached out to me." Like it just felt dumb. Like, okay, mm-hmm. cool. you wrote this for the kids. Great, awesome. The other was when they say, "Oh, we've got to disable the ADS," and she goes, "What's the ADS?" It's like you were in the helicopter with Ramsey when he explained it to you. He said, "We've got to disable the ADS," and you said, "What's that?" Oh, here's what it is. We actually had that explained to us like five times in this movie. And then for Ellie Sather to go, but wait, what's that? You were there. You were part of the lecture. You, it, 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 yeah. And there were several times where they were trying to match some beat points from the original Jurassic Park, like the whole having them go switch the power back off and on and tear, carry the radio. Mm-hmm. I'm on channel two. I'm on channel five. Um, it's like, okay, yeah. yeah yeah hey hey guys remember the first movie like it's it's what it, it just yeah it was i thought I, okay to, to say some positives i thought the sound design was fantastic i thought the score was fantastic there was a lot of practical effects in this movie that i thought worked very well and i thought the cgi 
for the most part was pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, there were there was a couple times where I was like, eh, but I think the dinosaur CGI is good. Like some of like yeah. the for some reason there was like three like chase scenes, like when they're on bikes or cars or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like it's turned into a Fast and Furious movie almost. Yeah. The CG there is really like I can see like it's quite bad. Yeah. Like I'm not being harsh or anything. It's like an early two thousands. The Raptors like, and movie. The Raptor yeah. chasing. Yeah, yeah that, the whole bad. Malta thing was horrendous. Like what's his Jason Bourne slash James yeah. Bond? And like Bryce Dallas mm. Howard, like, what are you doing? No one oh. in a million years will believe that you are some kind of action hero. Where where did she learn to fight? Now she's like a she she was going hand to hand with the girl in the in the in the white uh suit. Yeah. And then they went into like a Star Wars cantina type thing <laughs> and like doing it. I didn't mind like um underground, yeah. you know, like uh trading Black dinosaurs, that kind of yeah, yeah, that was okay. That was, that was I didn't that was my favorite part of that mortar stuff and then but everything around it was just, you know, uh, I couldn't believe like where they've taken the franchise. To be honest, well, like the, um, the guy yeah. that they partner up with, Owen's buddy from Jurassic World, like they're mm. walking with him, gives him the earpieces. Remember, don't talk to anybody, don't touch anything, just try to blend yeah. in. And then they just leave her alone for, and then we cut, and mm. she's by herself in a bathroom. They're on the roof. Not sure what happened between those two cuts. And the first thing she does is she sees somebody and goes oh you're an american here's my entire life story yeah what what happened to don't talk to anybody and also so just because she's an Amer you get she's still in this black market so she's still prop like <laughs> americans can be bad people y you understand that right mm -hmm. like the fact that you're connecting with her just because she's an american you get why that's actually worse right it it yeah yeah i mean uh i i definitely thought that when watching the movie like you trust you're explaining the full plan to her because she's american what yeah. and you heard it in the bathroom talking um and the i i have no clue why i mean there's almost there's no reason for the original characters to be in the story like when sam neil's character is still digging up fossils mm -hmm. Like there's actual dinosaurs running around in the real world. Why are you digging up fossils and doing research? And like there's dinosaurs that are breeding and you know eating people and uh, alive in the wild. Shouldn't you be studying that as opposed to actual bones and, and like digging up fossils and and yeah, obviously they 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 kind of team up to get back and there was no kind of um, I didn't feel. The spirit wasn't there in the movie, the, the original Jurassic Park, or, or anything close to it. So I didn't feel that magic when the old, when the Jurassic World and the Jurassic Park guys came together. Uh, you know, there was no uh, kind of satisfaction, no payoff, really. They didn't, I didn't feel like they earned it, to be honest. Um, but, you know, again, I was laughing along at some of the stuff. You know, yeah. Jeff Goldblum was saying you made a, a promise to a dinosaur, like that whole mess. That's how I felt. Stuff. I was like, what? a couple of lines, you know, with him yeah. and Chris Pine. I did, I did get that Marvel MCU humor with them, uh, and I did. I, I understand if people don't like it, but I did. I did laugh every time. So uh, when, that they were trying. When the movie trying tries to be funny, it's mm. funny. Like mm. when it's trying to be funny, it does it very well. Right. But there were way too many times, kind of like what you said earlier. I laughed out loud at this movie mm. when I really wasn't supposed to. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I probably three or four times. I think maybe I was the only one in my theater who was doing so, yeah. but I was fully laughing. Out loud. Like when, when they all did this at the end, no, <laughs> that was like, no. When Maisie was like, yeah. wait right there, because he kind of made me, it caught me off guard. Like, what is she doing? Oh my. God, it's, not just that really? it's, it's it's big like that weird tiny armed dinosaur that they were dealing with yeah. in fallen kingdom on the island he sees one of those and he just goes oh huh, and it just stops <laughs> and i'm like is that a yeah. they've, is they've that a the thing no they've got <laughs> the force now yeah they can literally mind control dinosaurs by doing this and, well, it's because uh, yeah dr grant makes the whole point of like oh you're owen grady you're the guy that like learned how to like you know, uh, uh, bond and train velociraptors. Yeah. Like it's this big deal. Yeah. And then two minutes later, mm. Grant and Maisie are both just able to do it. And I'm like, okay, so it's really not that big a deal then. I guess anybody can just do this. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, it's just a uh, simple as that. And yeah, when she done it, I, I fully laughed out loud, man. Like that was the that was the worst moment in the movie for me. Like, I I I think I saw it coming. I don't remember at the time, but. 
I, I just I think I forgot what my actual reaction was, but I, I kind of couldn't believe that they're doing that um, yeah. because you know that and yeah I don't again like why the amount of interesting and absolutely fascinating stories you can tell in this world in this universe in this drastic world where you know dinosaurs are roaming around and you know supposedly causing havoc to you know to the country or the world or whatever and you've got and this is the story that you're telling like the, everyone's just holding their hands up controlling yeah. these one or two little dinosaurs i mean and and the locust story and um yeah i was really 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 disappointed and um you know I'll, I'll always be on board for a jurassic park movie because the potential of the excitement that sense of wonder that i'm always kind of chasing with them yeah. um but yeah i really wish this team moves away from the franchise now because um yeah i'm tired of it it didn't work with uh, you know i i like bryce Dallas howard as a director i guess in that she does fantastic work in the mandalorian i've seen her other stuff you know she's got um you know i've been impressed with that she's got a really good black mirror episode as well i liked her in that um but she was rough in this absolutely rough and um yeah some of the newer actors you know the pilot girl um i really didn't like her i yeah. thought she was too op too perfect you know a perfectly highlighted hair um and just Never and the guy that was helping them out and their little nod to each other i was like oh my god what's going on here yeah. Um, I, w I was like a little bit offended by that. I'm not going to lie. Like a woke little nod between them. I, I, I was shocked yeah. almost that they did that. Um, yeah. What because yeah, seeing, yeah, seeing all the, I think because, you know, seeing the original characters and the new characters and they're all, there's no kind of minorities amongst them. And then all pretty white people. when the two, yeah. And then when the two kind of new, uh, you know, the, uh, that the diversity highs were there they kind of had their moment with nodding to each other i was like what is this seriously um yeah, yeah that was like a wink wink and yeah it was it was really really bad scene to be honest um but yeah uh, you know even the end scene obviously I, I can imagine most people or the end dinosaur scene where um the t-rex takes on that other uh there's like a three-way dinosaur like, thing it, as it, short as it was absolutely no point yeah. yes absolutely no point in, in it happening but, you know, I do like dinosaurs. And, you know, it's kind of fun for me. Yes. I do like them silly scenes. I, I do. I Honestly, I, I really like them silly scenes. Um, and the whole scene felt like it was, oh, crap. We haven't done anything with the dinosaurs in yeah, a while. Pretty uh, much, pretty much. We need a fight. We need a dinosaur yeah. fight. It was that I was kind of half expecting the locusts to kind of come in and get in, <laughs> you know, something like that, get in someone's face. But, um, but yeah, I, I even uh, I did like the dinosaur coming back with the the one that killed the Wayne Knight character. I don't know oh, the name of the, Yeah, yeah, the one that, so that killed the um, the corporate guy. Yeah, um, who, who was Peter Parker's dad and yeah. Amazing Spider Man. Um, yeah, the I did like that his death scene as well. There's a few couple of scenes in that tunnel, in them tunnels. I thought they were kind of a little scary, a little horror element yeah. to it. So yeah, I think there are stuff like in this. I I wouldn't recommend this movie, but in any Jurassic Park movie, you're going to have a certain amount of fun. It being dinosaurs eating people, chasing people, action scenes, scores pretty much good. Um, you know, yeah. a lot of references, Easter eggs, things like that. So, yeah, you're going to have a fun time, but you're going to go through a lot of heartache and pain as well uh, if you are a fan of the original movies. So, um, yeah, overall, you know, I think it's, you know, they have made money, these this latest trilogy, but overall, it's been a failure in terms of um, the continuation of the story um, of the whole universe. And and this is a story you chose to bring everyone back on. Really, really bad, really rough. Um, but yeah, I, there are fun parts in it. I'm not going to lie. I did yeah. it as much as a lot of other people do. Um, but I'm ready to give my ranking. I don't know about you, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Just, just yeah. My last final thoughts are just there. There is, there are things to like in this movie, which is why it doesn't quite hit the bottom for me. But it misses a lot more than it hits, and I feel like this is one that if I ever go back to it again, it will be like on streaming, skipping through to my favorite scenes for some nostalgia or watching highlights on YouTube. Um, so with that being said, uh, out of, out of five, uh, Boggs, if you had to rate this, what would you give it? Oh, a five. Uh, I would say I would give it. And I'll let you do halves. Yeah, I'll give it a two. I'll give it a two out of five. I think it's, um, like I said, uh, 
laughable. Uh, yeah. The plot is absolutely laughable. Um, it, 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 it kind of feels like a, a Steven Seagal action movie um, with Chris Pratt there and like background dinosaur. I don't know. It's really, really weird. Um, but I, again, some of the, you know, some of the, you can enjoy some of those Steven Seagal action movies and it is, it's like cringe, guilty pleasure fun. And um, again, I did like some of the, some of the score thing was, was pretty good. I felt uh, the dinosaurs were fun. Jeff Goldblum was fun. Um, but overall, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a rough watch, but I, I have a soft spot for this franchise. So I'll give it a two. And that, I'm being generous when yeah. I say two. So yeah. I, I'm also going to give it a generous two is what I gave it on, on Twitter, on our Twitter as well. It's there are things about it to like. There is a lot more about it to not like. It, it might my favorite thing about this honestly is the music because once again, Michael Giacchino comes back and does a banger score, but um, yeah, two, two out of five is the best I can do to wrap, to wrap this up. I, I will, I will ask you one final question because um, this movie is already, it's already made a, a buttload of money. It's already made like it had a budget of like a hundred and I'm looking on, on the thing here had a budget of 185 million. It's already made 405 million. Um, so after, you know, advertising and all that, it's at least made its money back. They're mm -hmm. probably going to make another one. Um, do you, what do you, what would you like to see happen if they, and if they do, what would you like to see happen in the probably going to happen next installment of this? Yeah, I would like to see Colin Trevorrow and his team move away from getting their hands off the, this franchise, because not only is the direction bad, you know, the writing is horrendously bad um and the story chosen is awful um yeah they just kind of shove it with action and um put this dinosaur in your face and this cg effect so forget all that get back to the um get back to telling a cool and interesting story a gripping story that has horror elements in it you know how many fantastic filmmakers could contribute wonderfully to this franchise so um yeah, definitely uh, look for a different team. But I am up for absolutely a different uh, Jurassic Park movie. I'll never say no to one of them. Um, but yeah, if because there'll always be that potential or that, oh, what if it can be? Because if they can get it right, you know, it clearly makes money. Every one of these movies do. So um, yeah, they just need to get put a good one out. You know, obviously, they'll always chase that first movie. Um, maybe they'll never reach them heights again. But it's worth a try for me. It's worth it's worth a worth a risk. I'm I'm in a slightly different camp. I don't know, and as someone who's an unabashed lover of this franchise, right now, with what they've set up, I'm not sure I need another one. If they do put one out, because I'm an addict and I'm and I and I'm a masochist, I will <laughs> apparently I will go see it. Um, I will I will go see it because you put dinosaurs on screen and I'm on board. Um, but I'm not sure I need another one. But if, if they do like you, I need I need a completely different team on board because I do think that the weakest, the, the worst part of this movie is the script and the story. It's a movie about the dinosaurs and the, existing amongst human beings. And that accounts for maybe 20 minutes of the actual movie. And the movie's almost two and a half hours long. Mm -hmm. And it's the whole, long. It's, a long it's, movie. It's, it's very long. I was checking my watch at one point and, um, I think we need to, I think they need to bring in like some, some fresh talent with new ideas and, and scale it down. So don't try to be fast and the furious and see how much bigger we can go with the next one. Scale it back. Like Jurassic world tried to do, like, let's go back to just being in a park, you know? So scale it down a little bit. And if you're going to have a movie about, about dinosaurs living amongst humans, maybe show it once in a while. What would be my thing? Cause that, that's almost non-existent in this movie. Um, but what did you guys think of Jurassic World Dominion? Did you love this movie? Did you think this was one of the worst things ever made? Like, let us know where you feel down in the comments, uh, or let us know on Twitter. All our Twitter stuff is down in the description of this video. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't forget to check out all the other cool stuff we have on this channel, whether it's our Obi-Wan re reviews, our Ms. Marvel reviews, the boys, trailer reactions, all that, all that stuff. Check that out on our channel. And let us know what you think. Uh, and we'll be back again real soon with another review, another reaction, whatever we got coming down the pipeline here on Off the Wall uh, on behalf of Box. My name is Mike. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye.